We are working on developing an STC to install a Dynon D10 flight information display in a Cessna 172. This device is basically a one-for-one -one replacement for your existing attitude indicator. And we were able to leverage existing FAA policy um, so that we did not require any rulemaking or any new policy uh, and we'll be able to, to get this STC um, quite easily. Um, and hopefully uh, open the door to even more innovation and newer and cheaper um, electronics and safety enhancing devices in aircraft. Well, Dynon Avionics is a company that's been selling uh, avionics equipment to home-built aircraft for approximately 15 years now and have been involved with EA and experimental aviation that whole time. In fact, we sell exclusively to experimental aircraft. So this is EAA's 40-year-old uh, Cessna 172 um, that has been placarded experimental and been certified experimental into the experimental research and development category. So over the last three days, we've been flight testing this aircraft, and that probably makes us some of the only uh, 172 experimental test pilots in the country. Dynan's a company that was actually founded on safety of flight. Our primary, the initial product that was designed by us was actually an angle of attack probe. And at some point when we were doing the angle of attack, which to uh, most pilots is, uh, as we've been trained, is actually why a wing stalls, we were in the process of developing that product and hoping to increase the overall safety of flight by putting an instrument in aircraft that um, isn't traditionally available in light aircraft. Ash Crash Tower, experimental Skyhawk 1271 uniform, holding short 27, ready to go, straight out departure. 127 uniform, Ash Crash Tower, runway 27, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 27, Skyhawk 7 uniform. What we're working on is a novel approach to certification uh, that avoids a lot of the red tape that an STC would normally have to go through a supplemental type certificate, um, which allows us to use non-TSO'd um, um, or quote-unquote certified instrumentation uh, in the aircraft. We are essentially right-sizing the certification pathway that we're using to get this, this equipment into the aircraft. The Dynon D10A is a product that was designed to retrofit in the panel of an already flying aircraft. That was its primary goal 10 years ago when sold to experimental aircraft. And it is a primarily an attitude indicator. Anybody, anybody that's used to seeing an attitude indicator would look at it and immediately recognize a, a blue over brown presentation in the background. Uh, it works exactly like an, a mechanical attitude indicator, but is an electronic device. Uh, it is solid state. There are zero moving parts inside, so it is uh, completely compatible with aircraft that might be aerobatic or have a lot of vibration or any of the other things that might limit a mechanical gauge. Uh, it works through 360 degrees of pitch and roll and everything else like that. Additionally, though, uh, in fact, the name D10A comes the fr from the fact that it has six, or I should say, ten functions, uh, which are the six-pack functions, attitude, airspeed, altitude, heading, vertical speed, and then adds a few more, clock, angle of attack, timers, and uh, while the original definition was ten functions, it does many more than that uh, now, um, over the last ten years that we've developed it. Well, this instrumentation is far above and beyond uh, what you currently have available to you with the standard six-pack. Um, with the device that we have, we, we have not only attitude information, we have airspeed, we have vertical speed, we have altitude, we have uh, heading, um, we have angle of attack, and um, even, the, uh, e even the, the, the coordination ball is all displayed on this, uh, on this display in the pilot's field of view. So it is a, um, a very accurate device. It's probably more accurate than standard uh, mechanical gyros, um, but it also gives you uh, advisory information to the flight in the field of view of the pilot. Uh, and um, we found through flight testing that it is in general easier to read and in some cases even more accurate than standard steam gauges. 
The Dynon's goal uh, in experimental aviation continues to certify aviation in making products that are easy to install. Uh, we have a history of uh, home builders building their own aircraft and installing things, and that will flow to the installation of the D10A in a type certificated aircraft. The item, the display itself is a self-contained unit. It fits in a 3 8 inch hole, and all of the sensors, uh, the primary sensors, are inside that box. So the only connections required to that device are power and ground, and the standard pitot and static in the aircraft that are right next door at the airspeed indicator. That will give it all of the six-packs functionality that you would expect and uh, requires minimal installation work. Uh, it doesn't hook to vacuum, uh, so the, the thing that came out of the attitude indicator uh, just gets teed off and, our, uh, and it drops in exactly the same hole. So our goal is to design an installation that is very, very quick and uh, minimal and allows it to be installed affordably. There are a few additional options, things like angle of attack or a uh, compass, which might involve a few more minutes of installation, but the kit comes with wiring harnesses and tubing and things like that that make all of that uh, very simple and easy. Um, so our aim in developing this STC is to eliminate a lot of the, uh, the, the paperwork red tape uh, as well as um, some of the, the complexities and certification that drive the cost um, of a lot of this instrumentation in aircraft. So what we're hoping for is instrumentation that is orders of magnitude cheaper um, than what is currently available on the market uh, for a traditional um, STC. So th this would uh, definitely make this technology available at a much lower price to the owner operator. The Dynon D10A uh, is a product that has existed for uh, about 15 years and has sold thousands of copies into uh, experimental aircraft. One of the great things we've been able to do with this product over the years is start with the idea of a six-pack replacement and come out with that and then grow that product with our customers' feedback. And so it got deployed into experimental aircraft, enjoyed a fair amount of success, uh, with customers installing it and flying it. And we've had a wonderful relationship in being able to have customers fly it and tell us, oh, wouldn't it be great if it did this or if it did that better? And Dynon's been doing that with the product for uh, 15 years now. And it's become a very, very proven and stable product. Um, and in fact, the last time that we updated uh, software in it was about five years ago because it's hit the point that it does what it does very, very well. And when this product moves into the type certificated aircraft, one of the things that we're very excited to be doing with the FA is actually being able to deliver that product unchanged to the uh, type certificated aircraft. And that means all of those features that have been developed um, effectively with thousands of uh, pilots input will be able to be put right into these type certificated aircraft and they'll immediately get the benefit of that pilot community's input. So it's a product that was really community developed and we're excited because that we believe that leads us to a much better and proven user interface and user experience than a you know, brand new product you might see coming into the type certificated uh, world that has been through a more constrained development process. And we're very excited to be able to test that as we get to type certificated aircraft and hopefully prove that that is uh, another way to demonstrate that uh, products can be developed affordably and reliably for the light GA market. Over the last three days, we have been flight testing this equipment in our aircraft. Uh, the flight tests have gone absolutely beautifully. We've evaluated it with uh, FAA test pilots, um, our Dynon technical expert, Ian, uh, as well as some FAA observers. Uh, everybody is, has been very impressed with the product, that we're, um, the, the instrumentation that we've been using, uh, and, we are, uh, and all the tests went beautifully. EA has worked very closely with the FAA through this process uh, to find new ways to make this work and everybody is, I can honestly say that everybody is on board with making this happen uh, and it's been an absolute joy to work with these, uh, th these guys. It's, it's uh, been a very great process.